Good morning, everyone. I'm Lauren Stone with Toy Wizards. That's toy-wizards.com. And I'm back for another spontaneous toy review. Bring it down, Lee. <laughs> Um, today's items were actually brought to us by Quantum Mechanics. They're giving us two of their Q-Fig um, little statues. So thank you so much to Quantum Mechanics. We will link these items in the description below and you can see where you can get your own. So for these, let me show you what we are going to be checking out. We have Q-Figs, uh, the Witch King by from Lord of the Rings. And we have Q-Fig uh, Freddy Krueger from A Nightmare on Elm Street. Those of you who follow me and the kind of toys I report on or the kind of stuff I've written, if you've ever read any of my other articles, you know that I'm a huge horror fan and Freddy Krueger was the husbando until um, 2017's Pennywise showed up. Awkward. All right. So let's take a peek. We're gonna look at um, we're gonna look at the box. We're gonna look at everything with this toy. We'll open it up and then we'll look at Freddy as well. How many here are fans of Lord of the Rings? Probably mostly everyone. I have to admit that I have actually never read the books or have seen uh, the movie Lord of the Rings, but I know some heavy metal fantasy imagery when I see it. So Q figs again. These are statues. This retails for nineteen ninety nine. And um, they're small dioramas, statues of characters from various franchises. Again, this one's Lord of the Rings. Uh, it says on the box that they are geared for 15 plus collectors. So these are not, obviously not for children. Um, one thing that made me really happy, figure's helmet has sharp points. Exercise caution when handling. So for your average person, they're probably hearing like, oh, that might be sharp, don't touch. And for me, that's, so how much pressure am I applying before it draws blood? Gross. Just kidding. Just kidding. All right. Let's take a peek in here. I hope everybody out there is doing amazing and awesome, keeping safe and keeping occupied. Let's look at toys, right? Nothing helps, nothing helps a quarantine like toys. So let's take a peek at this. Again, I'm not familiar. So I did take some notes directly from, before we look at our uh, Witch King, um, I took some notes from directly from the Quantum Mechanics Q-Fig description, or which I'm not going to read this whole thing. The Witch King of Angmar Q-Fig is ready for battle with rough-hewn armor, distinct iron crown, wielding his fiery broadsword. The flame of his sword burns brightly as this black rider takes his place in your collection. The Witch King stands four inches tall and is secured to a dioramic base. Give that person a raise. Your, whoever your staff writer for toys is quantum mechanics with Q-Figs, give them a raise. That's fantastic. And it keeps going. So this is very feels very, very, very light. This I don't know what this material is. Maybe PVC. Yeah, or plastic. This is super cool looking. I like this. Look at this heavy metal troop on their eyes. Again, I may not know Lord of the Rings, but I listen to a lot of Ronnie James Dio. <laughs> I love heavy metal. People always, you know, there's black metal, there's death metal, but at the core of metal, like I like power metal and heavy metal, and it's really about like, like, wielding swords and forging steel and like brothers in arms and raise your shield and fight the dragon and the witches and the sorcerer <laughs> that's all it is that's all I, that's what i listen to look at his cute little metal shoes oh my gosh this is adorable look at his little shin guards i wonder if my krav maga instructor would let me replace my um my current very practical very well working um shin guards with some like some uh, metal. <laughs> Just kidding. That's a joke. I will not do that. That's so cool. But yeah, this is really, really great. Uh, what I like about these, again, at four inches, um, you can, if you are someone who just wants a figure that'll like not fall, this does have the integrity of a small figure um, and the base makes it secure so it can stand right on your desk or right where it needs to be. And things aren't going to topple over. Um, I have a desk loaded with tchotchkes and robot toys and small figurines and just all sorts of display stuff and it between between the cat and my kids and like the door slamming um my stuff falls over all the time 
So I'm like thinking I should secure bases to everything. And for, I like this price point. Again, this is $20. This is a $20 price point and the sculpting is really, really nice. While this may be a review sample, I am never paid to say anything. Everything, all of my opinions are my own. And while I am grateful, we toy wizards are not for sale. Yet. Just kidding. Come on, humor, laugh. Laugh, clown, laugh. It's funny. Uh, yeah, no, this is a really great figure. I love the paint job. I like the gradient color on the flame. Um, you know, you have to keep price points in mind when it comes to the entire package. And $20 for me is like, that's baseline collector price. Like that's the lowest it's going to get and still be a collectible. We're just getting out of toy range. And so I think this is really, really awesome. So well done. Well done, Quantum Mechanics. Can I figure out how to get him back in? I'll work on that later. Let's take a look at Freddy. I saved the best for last. I love Freddy Krueger. Oh, my God. And it's funny, too, because Freddy Krueger was one of those characters that when um, when the movie started airing on the stolen movie channels that my family had, we had the black box, um, I, like, walked in on my mom watching Freddy way too young, and it scared the crap out of me. Do you remember in Nightmare on Elm Street 3 where he slashes that boy's arms and, like, marionettes him with his veins, like, out the window like that? <laughs> oh, my God, that scared me so bad bad like and then you know even like the tongue phone was creepy sure it was creepy but like in the from the first movie but that marionette that marionette in vain i couldn't be touched on the inside of my arms for years like it scared me so badly and i then you know as you get older you have to like, laugh at yourself and i love freddy krueger like i get such a kick out of freddy krueger first movie through the sixth movie to new nightmare to freddy versus jason um, did not dig on that 2010 uh, reboot. Sorry, didn't work out for me. Um, <laughs> he's not a child molester. Oh, just kidding. Just kidding. Yeah, he is. All right. Gross. All right. So I took some notes here um, from the Quantum Mechanics QFig website. Freddy, a serial killer with burn scars on his entire body and a glove filled with razor sharp daggers, revels in your face. I don't have to read this. It's Freddy Krueger. You know him. Let's jump in. <laughs> I have to say, all right, before we even open the box, this is kind of funny. It says right here, seven, ages 17 plus on this right here, but then down here, 15 plus. So there is a little bit of a mistake on the box. Whoopsie. Whoops. Whoopsie. So just letting you guys know, typo on your box. Typo on your box. Someone going to proofread my box. <laughs> oh, God, I'm the worst. Okay, let's keep going. So what I do like about both about this one, and this also applies to the Witch King that we just looked at, is I like, along with the figure, along with the figure, I like, I really like the cloud, the moving cloud gimmick to represent, I'm thinking, you know, the dream world, like, just sort of the swirling cloud um this figure like look oh my god look at his look at his face that's ridiculous um i i think i i think the other one was definitely better in the face and that's because he was wearing a mask which is really like messed up um i love the detail like look at the color on the i really like the color on the glove we have the copper, we have the um, silver, the razors. I really, really like that kind of muted color, rust color, rust and dirt of his shirt. All the paint work and the color choices and the palettes are great. I don't know what's happening here. There's like a, there's like a bullet hole in his head. Um, is that a mistake on my sample copy or is that just the way it's supposed to be? I really like the idea of this. Um, I like the textures. <laughs> Um, on the bottom of the on the base on the diorama base and to me I mean this is like way overreaching this is like way English major symbolism garbage um, to me it sort of represents like the earth being kicked up which might be like death you know being getting buried you know one two Freddy's coming for you I don't know that's just my interpretation um, the teeth are a little too much it's a really really toony uh, and not in a charming way like NECA's Toonie, ter ter uh, Toonie Terrors. Not in a charming way like the Toonie Terror line. Um, 
I like the way they're doing the burns with spots. It's just a simple way on a figure this small. Um, it's just a really easy way to kind of get the slash gimmick, the burn gimmick. Like, you know what's happening here. You know the character. If you're buying this, you know the character. You like the character. Um, something's not working for me in the face. But ultimately, there's a lot that is working for me. I like the I like the kind of hook nose. Um, I think they kind of nailed the character aspects of the character of Freddy Krueger as played by Robert England very, very well. So there's enough going on for me here that I do really like to kind of ignore the feel like this crescent eyes super excitement like he's really he's really stoked before some slashing on me like he's really excited for things to get messy um and, but that's freddy and that's why we love him so little imprint right there q fig the uh, movie logo freddy krueger the character new lines there's the end credits are right here on the bottom of this base and it was the same for the witch king show you yeah like here's the credits <laughs> here's where the budget goes <laughs> but no these are super super cool and so again big thank you to quantum mechanics for sending us two of these uh q fig figures to check out and review i'll do a little write-up on them as well and i appreciate you guys hanging out with me so be good be safe again i'm lauren stone with toy wizards that's toy-wizards.com stick with the site we are posting toy news toy reviews Articles, snarkticles, listicles, opinions, not opinions, thoughts, and other cool things as related to the toy industry. So, yeah, thank you guys again. Be good, be safe, stay well, and um, enjoy the rest of your day, week, the, it, huh? Okay, bye.